Hello everybody and welcome to what's up on this gaming guys today we are here and we're playing Pokemon Prism version which is actually a new ROM hack that has recently come out what happened was Nintendo actually took this ROM hack down but someone leaked the download so now a lot of people have it I'm one of the people that have it I'm gonna play it on YouTube for you guys because you guys are gonna love this game it's gonna be awesome so hopefully you guys will like it if you want to I can make a whole video on how to download the game how I got it myself and hopefully that'll help you guys get it and hopefully it doesn't get taken down or anything like that but if I can help you guys I can um, but without further ado Let's go ahead and get started with the game because I want to go ahead and get started playing the game because I want to play. Here we go. All right, so it's already restarted on accident, um, but here we go. This is a fan made Pokemon game, um, so hopefully it's awesome. So, all right, um, I guess we got to do a new game. Here we go. Um, please select uh, your birthday. Um, I was, oh, wait, wait, what did I say? Please select the date, I think. It said, please select the date. So, today's date is January um, 2017, which is that's good. That's right, day. Um, but today is, what is today? Today is actually the seventh, um, so I gotta pick all the right times to make sure everything is gonna be on the right time. Um, it is January seventh. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right. So greetings. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am well. That doesn't matter. Anyway, this world is inhabited by creatures called that we call Pokemon. All right. So it's like normal Pokemon game, I guess. People in Pokemon live and support each other here. Some people play with their Pokemon. Some people study them. Others even battle their Pokemon and strive to be champions. This is Red. Hailing from Pellet Town in the Kanto region, he successfully became the region's Pokemon champion, while also taking down the corrupt Team Rocket. Well, that's pretty impressive, actually. And meet Gold, also a young trainer. He left home from Newbark in Johto and worked his way to the top, challenging many tough and troublesome foes along the way. But you, you two are destined for greatness. Why not tell me a little bit about yourself? All right, well, I guess, okay, here we get to go. We get to customize our character, guys. Um, you can be a boy or girl, and not only can you be a boy or girl, but you have a bunch of different little things you can do, different ways you can uh, customize them and stuff. We have Koga here with the cape. Um, we have just like the regular guy. I don't know who this guy is. This guy looks kind of boring. And um, this is like the main character, I guess, like the main guy you'd pick anyways. I think I have a bandana. I'm either going with this guy or the guy with a bandana. Um, so let's go ahead and go with... Ah... Uh, who has the most wild on them? I don't want this little kid up here. Um, I say we go ahead and go with this guy here and pick him. Cause he's got some crazy hair going on up there. Um, let's go ahead and pick this guy. All right, so now we can pick his skin tone stuff here. Um, let's not make him too wild. Uh, but let's let's get him a little tan here. You know, a little tan. Nah, too much tan. Let's do this right here. This is good. All right, so now let's go ahead and pick a color here. Um, I don't. Okay, that's kind of orange, but not really the orange I'm looking for. I don't think now. Um, so, there we go. That's more chocolate. is kind of brownish, but still kind of orange, you know. I like the way it looks. Um, let's see if we can go to a custom color so we can do it that. Alright, so we need more red, obviously, probably. Alright, so do a lot of red. Um, let's bring in here and see if we can... Okay, it's looking really yellow there. Okay, so it's looking pretty orange. It's looking pretty orange. Can we bring some more into that? Should we take more blue out? Make it, that'll make it more orange, probably. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty orange right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and go with this here. Um, that's fine. Is this the look you want? Uh, yes, that is the look I want. That looks pretty good. All right, finally, could you please tell me your name? All right, so here we go. Um, Adam, Jacob, Bruce, Caleb. Um, let's just go with my actual name in real life, I guess. Um, we'll go C, lowercase, and then we'll go L. Oh, I did, that, I did that wrong. All right, so let's go back here and delete that one. Um, okay, L over here. Oh, whoops. It's going to be, yeah, baby. There we go. And... There we go. We're just going to go Cole. Cole's my name in real life, guys. If you didn't know that already, uh, my name is Cole. Cole, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. All right. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'm sure I'll see you later. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to find who this guy is here. And we got we got something going on here. We got like little little sleeping bags and stuff here. And a little fire. Look at that. Looks hot. Better not touch. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. So we have water and stuff. Can we cut the street on here? Oh, this is a tree that can be cut. All right, yep, of course it can. All right, who's this here? It's so beautiful here, isn't it? I've missed just escaping into the wilderness. I know you miss your father, Cole, uh, but he's out there making a bigger name for himself. I know you want to follow in his footsteps, but promise me that no matter how big you get, that you will never forget about me. Okay, thanks for uh, coming with me, Cole. All right, so I'm guessing this is probably our mother and our dad left uh, left us um, to become something awesome or something like that. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, but let's just go ahead and c continue or something. I guess we gotta walk along the path here. Uh, we didn't really get... Did she say get firewood or something like that? I don't know. Maybe we'll this way. Cole. Okay. Well, she's talking to us. Oh, heading out for a walk. Could you try and get some firewood? Okay, there we go. We got some firewood for us. And the fire will need to 
um, some soon to keep warm us nice and warm tonight. Alright, so we're gonna need some firewood to keep us nice and warm, guys. Just be safe. Alright, so we don't want really to have a Pokemon, I guess. Um, let's, let me open up any um, inventory. How do you open up your inventory? I have no idea if you even can in this game. Okay, so we can like fast forward, I guess. Can we fast forward this game? Yeah, you can fast forward. Alright, so there we go. Um, I don't know if we can do anything. It's kind of quiet now. <laughs> it just got quiet all of a sudden. There's a little ledge we can jump over. All right, and oh, here's a cave. All right, so we can go this way. This is where we can go. All right, so this cave is really, really green. Um, but let's keep rocking and rolling, boys. Let's keep rocking and rolling. This guy here. Okay, hey kid, are you lost? Um, your campsite is up north. Uh, the path was blocked by a landslide. What? Well, I didn't even notice that. There was a block by a landslide. All right, well you're in luck. This cart will take you right back there. All right, thank you. That's that's pretty convenient. You have a cart go back there. All right, I hear a noise going on here. Oh, that sounds like a crash noise. That sounds like a crash noise. This crazy experience has made you lose track of time. Check the hour. All right, so we need to, I guess this is where we pick our time. All right, it is 11. 11. We need to pick 11 o'clock at night. All right, so 11. Uh, yeah, the, the hour is 11. And what is it? 44. 11.44. I'm playing this pretty late right now, I guess. All right, so we need to get to 44. We'll go up 45, though, just to stay on time. All right, yes, that's the minute. So the knot is 11.45. That's great. Um, now, if you can only figure out where you ended up. All right, so we're in the Aqua Mines, it says down there. Okay, because I guess we can't start that way. All right, so let's get going. All right, what's... Oh, what's this up here? Look at that thing. Look at that thing. What is that? All right, guys, we're going to talk to it. I don't know what it is, but we're going to talk to it. Oh, it's a Larvitar. All right. This Larvitar is blocking you. It looks lonely. Maybe it wants to tag along or something like that. Uh, do you want to bring it with you? Uh, who's not going to take a Larvitar with them? Odd. The Larvitar is holding a Pokeball. Alright, so we, I guess we're going to put it into a Pokeball. It's kind of crazy. Alright, so Cole received a Larvitar. That's awesome. Give an name to the Larvitar you received. Um, you know what? Yeah, we'll give an name to our Pokemon this, in this playthrough here. Um, so what should we do here? Um, what do I want to call him? We'll call him, we'll call him Larvy. Larvy for Larvitar, you know, Larvy. Sounds like a good name. You think it's a good name, guys? Um, think it's a good name? Oh yeah, guys. Why, while, while you're watching right now, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this thing so far. This, this new, um, this new uh, like playthrough. This new, let's just play through. But what do you think of this ROM hack? This is an awesome ROM hack. But if you don't want to comment yet, if you still want to um, see some more gameplay before you comment on what you think about it, um, be sure to watch some gameplay because it's, it's a definite thing. All right. So what's going on here? Our first encounter is a Shinx. Look at our guy. He looks like Naruto. He looks just like Naruto. I swear he does. All right. So a wild Shinx appeared. All right, Shinx. We got Larvae here to fight up against you. All right. So let's just go for Scratch now. All right. So there we go. Awesome. All right, Shinx. All right. Shinx hit us with that tackle there. That, that hurt pretty bad, actually, Shinx. All right. Shinx needs to get out of the way. Shinx needs to get. All right. So there we go. Two hits on that Shinx knocked it out. We got 17 experience, which is not very, very much at all. So hopefully, hopefully Larvitar can keep us safe in here. This is. Just kind of in a cave right now. We don't really have anywhere to go. Oh, another encounter. Another encounter. All right, so here we go. Shinx, what we got? Wild Shinx up here again. All right, so I don't know what's going on here. Larvy. Um, let's go ahead and go in here and see if we can scratch up some people here. We got little Shinx. Little Shinx thinks it can take us out. All right, go ahead and with the tackle. The tackle did nothing at all. All right, so scratch it to death. Scratch it to death. And come on, Shinx. Come on, Shinx. All right, Larvy. All right, Larvy, let's scratch it. Come on. And boom. There we go. We get some more experience now, probably. All right, 17 more experience, which is always good. Experience is always good. What do we got up here? All right, so that's okay. Uh, there's a Pokeball up here. All right, that's good. Let's, let's look at this thing here. All right, so we found a potion. That's awesome. All right, so we got our first potion. We, oh, if we can actually look at our stuff now. All right, so we got Pokemon. All right, that's good. We got Larvitar. Let's check out his stats in nature. Does he even have nature in this game? I forgot. So rock and ground. Um, he needs an 80 experience points to level up. So the next thing here, does he, can we check his stuff? Does he have natures and stuff in this game? Do they even have natures? I think they do. Yeah, they do. Um, highly persistent guts. I don't know. All right. So his best thing is attack. His lowest thing is speed. Uh, I guess there's no natures here. If you guys know anything about that, then go ahead and tell me if you want to. Um, we have our backpack. Anything in that besides that? We have balls, items, key items, TMs, HMs, not, nothing at all. All right, so I guess that's all we have there. Let's go ahead and go on to the rest of the, rest of the uh, area, I guess. All right, what we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, there's another, is this another Larvitar here? Oh, I ran into a wild Pokemon. Why did I do that for? Oh, what is a Venonat? That's a little different. That's a little different. 
All right, so um, let's see if we can knock out a Venom just as easy. I'm sure it would be a lot easier than the Shinx, probably. Not about the same, I guess. All right, so um, I wish we could actually catch Pokemon. I might want to catch a Venom. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but guys, I think this game actually has Gen 6 Pokemon. I don't know about Gen 7, but I'm pretty sure it's Gen 6 Pokemon. Um, so it's pretty up to date. All right, so here we go. Hum, another Larvitar. This must be like a Larvitar like place. The Larvitar fled. All right, so here we go. Um, it's too small for you to enter. Uh, send Larvitar instead. Uh, oh, this is yes, guys. This is one of the important parts. You can actually play as your Pokemon in this game. Um, so if you like Mystery Dungeons, uh, this game is gonna really appeal to you because this is actually a pretty cool thing here. I uh, have two paths here, but I'm gonna go down. I feel like down is the right way. Um, but yeah, but this is this is awesome. Is it not awesome? You get to play as a Pokemon. You get to play as a Pokemon. I saw this in like a little playthrough thing, um, but it was really awesome. Another wild Pokemon, a Centret. All right, so we'll find a Centret in a cave. Not a problem here. Um, we're getting close to getting level six, I guess. So it should be anytime soon. Us leveling up. All right, so wild Centret used tackle. All right, so um, I wonder what the story is about this game. Like, what's the whole point and stuff? How are we gonna? How did we end up <laughs> just getting a Larvitar? We went into a cave, accidentally find a Larvitar. All right, so what is this thing here? This is weird. We touch it. Was so what is this here? A button? Oh, I guess we pushed the button. Sounds like something moved. All right, so we moved something with that button. I don't know what that was all about. Um, but it seems like everything's kind of like laid out for us to do. Like there's no like story behind it. It's like it's just happening, unfolding before our very eyes. All right. So here's that larvitar. We're we gonna fight it. Are we gonna fight it? All right. So I don't know what's happening here. Oh, then there's Shinx. All right. All right, Shinx. Here we go. Wild Shinx appeared. Let's go ahead and on this thing out here and see what we can do with this thing. All right, Shinx. Um, we're gonna scratch you. We're gonna scratch you pretty good, probably. I hope that hurts, Shinx. I hope that stings. I hope it's like a stinging scratch. Um, let's go ahead and scratch up here. Uh, knock it out, please. Knock it out. Oh, it didn't knock it out at all. Oh, his health's getting pretty low. Here we go. Scratch on the Shinx. Knock it out. Knock it out. And we should be getting enough experience to level up pretty soon, actually. Shouldn't we? Yeah, that's a pretty good experience. All right, so um, let's go ahead and see what this guy wants. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can talk. I forgot that we're playing as a Pokemon. So since we're playing as a Pokemon, we can talk to other Pokemon. I guess that's pretty cool. Oh, hello. I'm sorry I ran away just now. I'm really shy. If you can keep your trainer away, um, I'll give you a gift as a thing. Slurvitar give you some soft sand. All right, so I actually forgot what soft sand does. Um, where's that guy going? He's going somewhere. Uh, let's look in our bag here. Oh, we can't look in our bag at all. Okay, so um, you can't look in your bag when you're a Pokemon. That's good, that's good to know, I guess. Okay, so another wild Pokemon here. Um, we got Shinx. Uh, let's go ahead and defeat it here. All right, so, all right, so let's scratch it. All right, so let's keep scratching it. Come on, keep scratching it. And there we go, 17 experience. We're like one battle away. Um, we definitely need to be healing up pretty soon, but we can't heal up yet. We're stuck in this cave right now. All right, so there we go. Return to your trainer? Yes, of course. Oh, there's a loud noise going on there. Something to my right now. All right, so we can't actually heal up right now. Um, let's go ahead and heal up Larvitar really quick before he dies, because I, I don't know what's going to happen if he dies. So Larvitar is healed up. Um... Did we not get a soft sand or something? Oh, is our Pokemon holding it? I bet our Pokemon's holding it, yes. So, actually, yeah, look. Where's it at? Where's the holding item thing at? Soft sand, yeah, it's holding the soft sand there. Um, so that is actually pretty awesome. Um, I guess he just handed it into our hands there. Um, but, oh, okay, so that's what that did. I didn't even notice. I, was, I just thought it was a cave part. Um, but there was a rock there before, I think. And uh, we pushed that button, and it moved it. So is this... Who is this guy? Uh, what ho and what ho? Uh, a fellow traveler? Would you like me to share one of my treasures? Uh, sure, it's a berry. An orange berry, to be specific. Pokemon love to eat these. All right, so an orange berry to, re to revive some health, I guess. So um, that's awesome. Attaching berries to your Pokemon can save you during a battle. Using it won't even uh, waste a turn. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I'm, I don't know if this is rock. I thought there's an item here. Oh, you need a mining pick to mine. So I guess you can get a pickaxe and mine stuff. That's, that's actually pretty cool. All right, so we're in the first town. We like do stuff. I don't recognize you at all. So where did you come from? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've never heard of it. Oh, okay. Um, let's go up here. There's a person in here. Oh, a few fa a new face. Uh, what brings you to the, the city? All right, so. What? You fell on the mines? I need to put a ladder there. All right, so we know we need to put a ladder there. Uh, what's all this in town? Oh. oh, a Pokemon Center. We have a Pokemon Center here. Um, so let's go ahead and heal up here in case we have to go, like, get knocked back to the last place we were at, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and heal a Pokemon up here. And so let's say here. Okay, may I see your Pokemon? Thank you. All right, you can see the Pokemon for sure. That's a, that's a for sure thing you can do here. All right, so your Pokemon are healed. We hope to see you again. Awesome. There's people in here too. Let's talk to these people here. Make sure. We, let's see if we could find out any stuff about the story here. Okay, so I guess this is just gonna be like a normal thing that you would see. Okay, hello, Professor. 
the professor's always busy and at work and stuff. Um, what's this way? I don't want to talk to that person. I hope that person's gonna like, bring us into like some kind of cutscene kind of thing here. Um, this is a pretty big city. Oh, we have a mart here. Do we have any cash? Do we have any cash? Let's check our trainer card here. We have three grand. And, uh, oh, we have levels? What? You have mining level, jeweling level, smelting level, and crafting level. What's up with that? Whoa, whoa. Are these all the badges you can get? No, you can get all... There's 20 badges. 20 badges. What's up with that? All right, so let's get in, let's check some stuff out here. Sorry, we're stocking inventory right now. Okay. Um, so it looks like they're stocking up and stuff in here. Uh, this is a pretty cool place. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to that girl or maybe go this way. I don't know what's going on over here. Talk to this guy. Oh, this place is... This is us? Watch out. This is uh, really thin us. I'm trying not to move. St all right, so there we go. Um, I guess we can't go any further that way because that guy's blocking the path. Um, but this, this, for some reason, there's Oss that way. That's pretty early to have Oss in the game, which is actually really cool, in my opinion. Um, but let's go up here and see what's going to happen up here. I'm shoveling snow. Oh, this is snow on the ground, I guess. When I'm done, it should be safe to go past. Um, is there somewhere we need to go? Is there somewhere we need to go? I'm not sure where to go. Alright, so maybe there's someone in the Pokemon? Oh, we didn't go in the giant building. What am I thinking? I didn't even think about the giant building in the middle of the town. All right, so uh, what's in this place? Okay, we have uh, what looks like to be some kind of office. Huh, yes. Yes, that makes sense. I should have a book about knowledge of lore somewhere. Um, there, there. What? What is it? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, why? I'm Professor Ilk. Does that say Ilk? Does that say Ilk? I don't know what said. I'm the region's leading Pokemon researcher. Oh, that's my Larvitar. I couldn't find it anywhere. Strange, Larvitar seems to be very fond of you. I'd hate to ask, but could you do me a favor? Please check on my brother. He isn't answering his phone, so I'm worried. He lives north of the city on the Route 69. Bring my Larvitar with you um, just to be safe. All right, so I guess we're talking to son. This is the professor guy that we need to talk to. We need to talk to his brother, though. What's his brother going to say to us, though? What does his brother want from us? All right, let's go talk to him. Let's go talk to him. The girl moved, so... Uh, Professor, okay, it is Ilk, lives in this town. That man is a Pokemon genius. Not only is he a revered Pokemon professor, he's also a famed historian. All right, so he's a historian, professor, he's got it all, you know. So Route 70. Here we go, we're on a route here. Um, what's this guy? Man, this snow is really deep. If you don't, if you walk and hold the B button, you might be able to actually run faster through it. Can we actually run with B? Oh, we can actually run in this game. Could you actually run in the old Pokemon game? Alright, so there's Pokemon laying in the snow here. Um, I guess this is a good chance to train Larvitar. This is actually a good chance to train Larvitar. Alright, this is this is a really fun game. This is a really fun game. This is um, it's, It gives you a lot of cool new stuff up front, so you guys get to see what you're working with, I guess. Or what the game's going to be about and stuff like that. Um, so it had, things happen pretty fast at the very beginning. It doesn't keep you bored, um, so we should level up here. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot better experience than in the cave back there. Alright, so there we go. Larvitar is level 6 now, um, which is getting pretty strong. Um, but I think, guys, we're going to go ahead in the video here. I'm going to go back to the city. I'm going to heal up really quick. I'm going to start the game. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time on. And so, bonus gaming, guys. Thanks for watching.